Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day of the video, Darren. How's it going today? Today, uh, we've, we've good news today. We've had very good news today. Um, basically, this morning, we got up at 7 o'clock, I'm knackered. I'm so tired. My eyes, I don't know, well, I've come out now, and I think hay fevers are affecting me. Um, and my eyes somewhat, because they're very itchy and stuff. Um, but yeah, so... My eyes are a bit itchy, but I'm also pretty tired as well, so I'm sorry if I'm like half squinting at you, lol. Um, I'm just walking back from walking lovely home. This morning we went to the hospital, hospital, <laughs> hospital, um, because I had to go in and get a re, re scan and stuff and basically like a checkup to find out whether I needed it casting, whether it was broken or not. And um, yeah, so we got up, mother drove me and lovely again. Lovely because she's a diamond, she just goes to the hospital with me because mother didn't want to. She's horrible. Um, but yeah, so Lovely came into the hospital with me because she's the bestest person in the world ever and I adore her. Um, but we went in and it was already packed. To say like appointments start at 9 o'clock and we were there at 25 past, there was already packed and they were already half an hour behind on a certain type of x raying thing, I don't know. But me and Lovely were waiting, we actually got through quite quick. Um, we were waiting, we went in, I didn't like it to be honest with you because it felt a lot more, the, the fracture clinic, which is what I went to go to, felt a lot more hospitally than, a, um, than the A&E did. It was like going to this little booth and it's got like a hospital bed and light boxes on the wall and stuff and I'm like, mm, I don't like this. And then like the most miserable doctor you've ever seen in your goddamn life comes around the corner. And he's just like, so, uh, how, how'd, you do it? how'd you do it, blah, blah, blah. And he's just the most miserable guy. And he's like, tell me where it hurts. He's like touching my arm and shit. And I'm like, oh, careful. You touch my I've got this thing with my pulse. I'm not sure if I told you this. Um, I used to be able to take my pulse fine. It didn't used to matter. When I was swimming and stuff, you had to take your pulse at the end of each, like, uh, set. To, so you'd have to do it within a certain time, yet also keep a certain heart rate and stuff like that so you don't go too fast or too slow and all that crap um, and I used to be able to take it then but then suddenly I just didn't like my pulse like if you touch my pulse it makes me feel a bit sick and I'm like oh and I go all cringy and I can't like touch that area I'll have to like if I'm wearing a watch and someone's just touched my wrist and I felt my pulse a little bit I'm like nope okay take my watch off I don't like it and I've got to like strip <laughs> essentially um freaking why's the sun come out god damn it um so yeah, uh, I'm touching my wrist and I'm like, oh, it doesn't hurt, but I'm cringing because you're near my pulse. He's like, I'm not even near your pulse. I'm like, oh, miserable, Jesus Christ. And it was ever so firm and horrible. <laughs> and he, I just wanted someone to be nice and gentle to me. And he was really mean. Um, and he was, uh, da -da 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 -da. he went through it and he's like, I don't think you need re-x-raying. Re it doesn't hurt where they think where we think, where the bone is that won't show up as broken is. So we don't need to re-x-ray you. Uh, it looks like soft tissue damage, which is like ligaments or muscles and shit. I don't fucking know. Um, which explains the swelling. Um, and I'm like, oh, that's frigging good news, man. I like it. And he's like, right, here's what we can do then. You need to be able to rest it for two weeks. Um, we can either cast it for two weeks or we can give you the splint still. I've still got the splint. Um, in which case you could take it off, you can shower, you can like relax, you can like exercise your hand and stuff. And then in two weeks time, um, you can come back and then we'll see if it's helped or anything. God, it's hot. <laughs> I'll take my hoodie off. Um, so I'm like, well, I'm not getting a frigging cast, so I'll have the thing. And to be fair, it is a lot better. I can move it around a lot more. And I think now that I know it's not broken, I can do a lot more with it as well. I put it in positions that I, yesterday, I wouldn't have been able to put it in. And I think mainly because it was in my head that I thought it might have been broken and I didn't want to hurt it anymore, but now I know it's not broken. Yeah, so I've got this splint still on still, still on still, but um, it won't be on for long because I'm still taking my painkillers every four hours and um, I can feel it getting better. So yeah, I've got to be off work for two weeks though, unfortunately, which my manager wasn't particularly happy about. He was like, are you sure we can't, can you not do any work? And I'm like, Sick note says no, man. Stop being a cheeky little git. I've got a sick note, you're supposed to let me go. Um, but yeah, otherwise, lovely came back to ours. We just played games and played Sim City and stuff. And just relaxed, and I'm feeling bad because I feel like I'm really boring. 
because I've only got one hand and I'm like we could play Xbox we could play that that oh no we can't because I need my thumb my thumb hurts um we could exactly so ah, can't play Xbox can't play things like Skyrim that's the thing that's going to hurt me most this is that I can't game it's going to kill me um so yeah Whew. that was like one of the moments you know when you're like walking along you're doing something relatively embarrassing and then you suddenly see someone you're like do you continue to do something embarrassing like you don't care or do you stop and make it even worse and i carried on like a champ because i'm a pro vlogger um so yeah we're just walking back now just walk lovely home because tomorrow we're going to the cinema and stuff so she's going to go home to to entertain her sister for a bit um and i'm going to go back do some video descriptions hopefully write, write an about page or something. I've got to get back into uh, my to-do list and things. I might just write a blog post actually. We'll go from there, I think. I've got to do some photoshopping of some photos I took for our scrapbook so we can get them printed um, when I go to um, shopping somewhere. Uh, and then that's about all, really. Get on, mate, from holding you up because I can't swap hands even though it's really strange because there's things I know I used to do with one hand that I now don't do because I feel like I'm forced to do use one hand. Like I don't ever vlog with my left hand, but yeah, because I know I can't, it makes my right arm hurt. God damn it. So yeah, we're gonna go home, gonna touch up some photographs in Photoshop because some of the settings were wrong in some of them, but I've still got the RAWs to edit. Um, then gonna write like my about pages or a blog post about my to-do lists and then maybe a blog post about my hand yeah and then I can stagger release them I'm thinking because my to-do lists are important we've got to get back on top we can't let this drag us down no sorry and if we can't write then we've got to do some video editing damn it you can use a mouse and video edit there's always a solution there's always something you can do and we're inbound down to thingy now um people I play Minecraft with, Jamesy, you know Jamesy, uh, Mike, Mike's going on holiday tomorrow and stuff, they're like, why don't you come to the pub, we can't play Minecraft, let's go to the pub, and I'm like, it doesn't sound like a too bad idea, I'll have myself a glass of red wine, and I'll sit there and I'll sip it all night, so I've got myself dressed up, got my, my actual hoodie on, you've got low battery, you bastard, I've um, got my actual hoodie on because it doesn't droop as much as Dad's does, because Dad's is too big and flopper. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I've been going through those photos on Photoshop and some of them were unfixable. It slipped out of the right mode when I was taking them and there's like a batch of like three. The tree trunk, the bench, and the photo of the steps in town. They were all like really grainy. The ISO was set too high. Um, it slipped out of like automatic mode and into manual mode, where I usually do night stuff. Sean, <laughs> Sean's, Sean's waiting for me at the bottom of the hill, but I was late because, have you had any idea how hard it is to get skinny jeans on with only one hand? Baby, it's pretty fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, buddy. It's also freezing as well, which is why I've got my hoodie on and stuff. But yeah, lol. Otherwise, yeah, we're just gonna go down for a nice get together, because otherwise I'm gonna be fucking bored at home. I don't know how I'm going to last two weeks not going to work. It's going to kill me. I can't even type. So I can't even do work work that isn't work, you know? Ah, so it's going to be fun, fun, fun. <sighs> yeah. And we are coming home. I really enjoyed that. That was really good fun. I had one glass of wine and a Coke. So nice and cheap. Really. And it was really good fun. We was there. It was Mike, Joe. I haven't really spoke to Joe either, really. Like, I don't really talk to him on a day-to-day -day basis, but it was great. It was really good fun with um, Sean, uh, Mike, thingy. Edith came and then Jamesy came later and was talking about computer science and stuff. We're meeting up with um, our, like, our like computing teacher and stuff to like catch up on things. It's gonna be great. We're organizing stuff like that. I have a really good time. I've really enjoyed tonight. Um, it's kind of the thing, now my arm's fucked and I can't use my hand <laughs> most of the time. I have to socialize with people in the real world so, so I'm kind of like forced to do things like this, which is actually really good. I actually don't mind it. It was really good fun, that was. 
Um, I, that's more my, that's my style of socialising with people, I think. Um, like at uni, it's very much, yeah, let's go out and get hammered. But that was great. We just turn up to a pub, sit down, talk about fucking everything. It was everything. It was brilliant. Uh, I've over time. I've got no idea what time it is because I can't get a watch on my hand. Because uh, my uh, watch doesn't fit because my arm's all swollen. <laughs> Uh, and I can't put it on my right hand because it will creep me the hell out. Um, and my phone batch is dead. But I'm walking home now. We've gone through last order, so I think it's about 11, half 11 to 12-ish, I think. So I'm going to go home, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. And then tomorrow me and Lovely are going to go to town to go to the cinema. Cinema? Um, yeah. So if anything, we are panic. Uh, if anything, we're making the most of this arm. Um, having my two weeks off. I'm keeping it. I was playing snooker and stuff and I was like, no, snooker, pool. And I was like keeping it so I weren't thinking. I've been very careful not to knock it in things uh, like the doctor said. But otherwise, it's okay. Like, I've got to keep it in its cap things. But as long as I don't lift anything heavy or knock it or anything, it's good. So I can do whatever I want, really. I'm going to make the most of it. Which I think is very important. I'm going to have to sit down and do some work and like programming and things when I'm not doing any of this. But yeah, fully really enjoyed today. Been jolly good fun. I'm going to go in now. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos, catch up on emails and stuff, and catch you later. Wow.